Hi my beautiful Cancerians, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Angel Love 333, hope everybody is fantastic, happy new year, some of you will see this before new year, some of you will see it after, so uh, just want to say I hope everybody is healthy, safe, um, and as you know I've said it before, 2024 will be the year of opportunity okay for you and everybody is what i what i envision here so with that let's get started here with your reading i'm going to pull the energy let's see what cancer needs to know please share with cancer what they need to know okay oh all right <laughs> quite a few cards dropping out there all right, let's see what the energy shows. A lot of angels around you at this time, Cancer. Look at that. Got three angels here, okay? I feel like your angels are working for you, Cancer. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you got angel get, uh, guidance here. I'm also feeling you're being very guided by your ancestors at this time. The first card we have here is Angel of Balance. Number 48, which is 12, reduces down to 3. We have the second chakra, okay? Now, this can talk about your passions, your desires, okay? The second chakra is um, the sacral chakra. I don't know, I went blank there for a moment, but the sacral chakra. So there's something here about you coming into alignment with something that you feel very passionate about. Now, I'm feeling like it may not just be in love. It can also be in your life just in general is what I get here. I definitely feel you're being uh, divinely guided by your angels and your ancestors. And look at that. You also have here a happy family. So I feel like it is if you are desiring a relationship, okay, so, you know, happiness here, whether it's relationship or something else in your life, I really feel like you're really being guided uh, by your angels and your ancestors. They're giving you messages through your thoughts, your feelings. This is the, the seventh chakra, which is the crown chakra. Okay, so some of you too could be going through an awakening at this time, like, you know, feeling more connected, divinely connected. I'm just moving these over. Um, and then look, you also have here um, contract, okay? So I feel like you're, you are in a place, um, the energy is showing me that you're coming into alignment between your head and your heart, you know, what you desire, what you're passionate about, but also um, I feel like there's kind of this equal balance between your emotions and your logic is really what I'm getting here. And I didn't finish the numbers, but I'm going to tell you five, four, uh, nine, and threes uh, may be significant to you, or you may see signs and synchronicities of these numbers. But I really feel heavily your angels and your guides are guiding you at this time. So pay attention to your thoughts and your feelings, okay? They're going to be really significant during this time. So let's uh, pull some tarot. Let's see what the energy is here for you, Cancer. I feel like, too, they're telling you to be patient. Okay, if there's something that brings you a lot of happiness that you are desiring, they're telling you to be patient. And that may be, you know, one of the hardest things for you, Cancer. Let's see what we got here. Okay, yeah, definitely showing me there's a situation um, I feel where you had some sort of ending or loss. I'm, I'm feeling it was very painful for you. Um, I feel like with this three of cups and the five of cups, you know, I feel like there was a time when it brought you a lot of happiness, but I feel like now you may be feeling like things are over. Okay, you may be feeling disappointed that something didn't work out. It didn't come together the way that you thought it would be. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. I see um, a, a soft, strong Leo at the bottom of the deck. Let's keep going. Okay, well, that's good news there because we have the Eight of Wands. That, oh, that's telling me there's an energy shift. 
okay? There's an energy shift, so whatever you're feeling at a loss or feeling disappointment, um, that's changing. Look at this, yeah. We got the, um, so we have the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, okay? Something here about communication. Somebody coming towards you, but it can just be an energy shift that's unstoppable, okay? This change that's about to happen, Queen of Swords. Now, this is talking about you being in protective mode, protecting yourself, maybe looking at things differently and being more discerned about your decision making. Remember I said here, I feel like you, you're kind of um, in that alignment with your emotions and the logical side of you. And we have the King of Wands and we have the Three of Wands. I feel like what's happening, Cancer, I do feel there's somebody coming towards you. It could be a fire sign. Uh, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay, somebody coming towards you pretty soon here. I'm seeing communication. Now, not too sure yet if this is somebody who disappointed you. I'm going to move these over just because I'm going to have to clarify some of these energies. But I'm not sure if this is someone who disappointed you or if this is somebody new coming into your life. And like I said, it doesn't have to be, I don't know if I said this, but it doesn't have to be love right? I mean, a lever it could just be somebody close to your heart. Um, I do see bottom of the deck. I see a message and the ace of wands. Okay. So there's something here and maybe this is what you desire here. Something that you feel passionate about that brings you a lot of happiness. It may be a specific person, or it may just be the idea of a relationship. Let's keep going. And then we're going to clarify what else can you share with cancer? about this energy coming towards cancer please share it with cancer what they need to know all right three cards there okay now we got the devil there there's your energy queen of cups got the hermit we got strong virgo energy we got strong capricorn energy yep and there's the message again oh boy and here's judgment okay I feel like there's somebody, Cancer, in your life that you went through a lot of pain, okay, or grief, or, or somebody that hurt you with this Ten of Swords energy, okay? Now, some of you, it was an ending. It was an ending, and I feel like this is someone at one time that you shared I feel like you went out with this person, you did things with this person, there was a lot of happiness here, but this person disappointed you. Okay, now maybe it's because, you know, you haven't heard from this person in a while, but that's changing. Okay, I see someone coming towards you with communication. King of Wands energy, Three of Wands energy. Okay, two threes here. Okay, we got three threes, three, three, three. So if you're seeing three, 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 that's going to be important to you. But somebody I feel that hurt you very much is taking action and is coming towards you. You have the five of cups and you also have the double card, which tells me I feel like cancer. This is something emotionally maybe you've kind of, you know, um, just really, you know, I kind of get kind of like an obsessive energy or like you constantly thinking about it, like you can't let it go. It's, it's like it haunts you. And, but I feel on the positive note here, Cancer, something shifting here in your energy. It's showing right there here with the Queen of Cups. Knight of Wands and the Hermit. It's almost like a path is being lit for you is really what I'm getting. But it's also, it feels like there's somebody coming towards you with communication. And again, here's that message. Okay, but I'm also going to say the other energy I pick up here is that you've learned a lot through what has happened through this hurt and this pain and this loss that you have gone through. So that's why you're in this discerned energy, this protective energy. Now you do have contract here. So some of you, I feel like this could be a past life energy, somebody who is coming towards you. You got the action card. And we also had the fourth chakra, which is Archangel Raphael. Could be somebody coming towards you to heal things. Archangel Raphael, another angel, is um, a healing angel. Okay, and then here is the woman holding a coin and carrying connections. 
So I do feel like this is somebody coming towards you and look, the next energy is your energy, uh, Cancerian energy. I do feel there's someone who cares about you who is coming towards you because if they didn't care, you know, they would have just, they would just leave things where they're at. But it does feel like this is someone who does have um, feelings for you or cares for you. Bottom of the deck here, we do have judgment. Now, it does show that this person did, did you wrong in the past. Okay, now, you know, that can be a lot of different energies or this could be somebody who's avoided communication about what has happened, you know, what happened in the past, but that's changing. Okay, I see a new beginning. We have the world and we also have the full card. So some sort of new chapter is about to happen in your life. You know, um, let's do some clarifying to get some more details about what this new beginning or this new cycle is. So I'm going to first start with that Ten of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. Why is the Ten of Swords here, please? Why is the Ten of Swords here, please? Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Okay. Yeah, there's somebody here from your past. It does feel like things have been at a standstill. That's what the angel of balance. You can see this person looking at the the looking the looking glass. <laughs> the hourglass. I think that's an hourglass. Okay, but it's like they're waiting. Okay, they're patient. They're patiently waiting, or there's time that has gone by here. But this is someone who misses you feels like things have been at kind of a standstill with that ten of swords energy but getting ready here to take some sort of action so let's clarify this king of wands tell me more about this king of wands tell me more about this king of wands oh four of swords and the queen of wands, okay, they're seeing you as their queen or their king, okay, take it how it resonates, you know, it's not about male or female, it's about the energy, but they're seeing you as their counterpart, and again, we're seeing the knight of swords, which we have here, this is someone I feel who is coming towards you, yeah, look at that, coming towards you, wanting to connect, wanting to work on things, is the energy that I'm feeling there. So let's just keep going here, okay? So there's th this is someone I feel that you have been distant with, okay? Distant with, the, and I feel like this is someone who has felt that distance in their heart, okay? Someone who's been doing a lot of thinking about the past and reminiscing. Tell me more about this uh, Three of Wands. Yeah, high priestess in the world. Yeah, so this person's looking ahead, definitely looking ahead, looking at the future here. You know, this is someone who is thinking about what do I want? You know, am I ready um, to come towards cancer? Am I ready to settle down for some of you? Wanting a union here with that three of cups or wanting things to be how they were in the past when the two of you were happy together, okay? So connecting again, like I said, I felt the two of you have had some really good memories and time together. And this is what this person's intuition is telling them. We have the world card here, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo energy. So something's changing here. This is what this person is thinking about, a new beginning. Um, definitely could be distance here. It's also, this card is also another number three. So again, I keep getting repeating threes. So let's see. Um, I'm going to clarify this five of cups. Tell me more about this five of cups. Tell me more about this five of cups. Oh my gosh, look at that. Three of cups. You know, it's almost like you felt so happy with this person and then they did something that was just really disappointing. You know, I'm also feeling like you felt almost like the two, this person was your best friend. You got the nine of wands energy here as well. And I feel like this is somebody that you didn't want to give up on, okay? But they did something shady, okay? I don't know if we had some. Yeah, we did have Seven of Swords. This is someone I feel like they did something, okay? They did something that was not okay with you. And like I said, you didn't want to give up on this. 
but it's almost like I feel like you had to. And that's why you keep going round and round about this as with this double energy is because you know this person didn't this person did something that they shouldn't have done, but at the same token you didn't want to give up. So let's clarify that devil Capricorn energy. Tell me more about the devil. Five of Cups. Again. <laughs> Ten of Wands, Burdens of the Past. Some of you, I'm just going to say there could have been interference of a third party. That definitely can be burden of a, of a third party situation. Okay. Very, very heavy energy. Yeah. That kept, uh, that kept you and this person. Whatever happened... It prevented you in this person from moving forward and moving towards something long term is the energy that I'm getting there. Now, here's where the energy shifts. It's what I'm seeing here. So tell me more about this Knight of Swords. Okay, yeah. Somebody's coming back around. Here's Devil Energy again, Capricorn Energy. We also have uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Someone's coming towards you and they want you back. In this deck, <laughs> this is my I want you back at all costs type of energy, okay? I would still, you know, I would say this is still someone you're going to have to be cautious with, but they're coming back. They want the opportunity with you. Let's uh, see why the hermit is here. Tell me more about this hermit. This is about what they're thinking about or finding their way towards you. Yeah, temperance energy could be a Sagittarius and chariot, Cancerian energy. So this is somebody coming towards you. They're trying to listen to their inner guidance. Okay, coming towards you. How do things move forward here? After time has passed, definitely feels like time has passed. After there has been, you know, some of you, it, after there's been so much pain that has been, you know, caused here in a situation. The emperor here showing me they're planning, planning their next move. Could be an Aries. Let's see uh, why this page of pentacles is here. Tell me more about this page of pentacles. Yeah, a message coming towards you. Coming towards you, wanting to take the step to make things uh, more stable. And I will say some of you, maybe you have children with this person or you were in a relationship with this person before. If that is your case, I definitely strongly feel this person wants that relationship back. Um, but this can also be somebody working to wants to work towards that. Uh, we do have the hangman. We do have the king of wands. I feel like we had the king of wands earlier. This is someone taking action after seeing things differently, seeing things from a different perspective. I do feel you got, you're dealing with someone though who has a bit of ego, a bit of pride, but you know, here it comes again. Here's the emperor again, Aries energy. This person's planning. Okay, this person's planning. I feel like you do have a special place in this person's heart. And the, here's the energy shift, the communication. So I see this person coming towards you. If this is what you desire, if there's a specific person that you want to come towards you, that's the energy I'm picking up. I do feel like you have a past life connection with this person. I, you know, I would even say there is past life lessons here. But again... Okay, and you know, this is your energy, Cancerian energy, but this person's coming towards you, wanting to heal things, wanting things to move forward. Okay, someone who does care about you, and I feel like they they want to offer something more. Here's your energy again, and look at that. This is four of wands energy, cornucopia. So Cancer, I feel like, you know, if this is somebody you've had on your mind, I feel like this is somebody who is definitely coming towards you. Let's pull some uh, yin yang oracle, see where this energy is, is going. Thank you, Spirit. And then I'll pull some timing cards. Um, also, um, you know, some additional messages. Okay, yeah, look at this. We have release. This is surrender energy. 
So this, you know, remember when I said here, I feel like this is someone, you know, definitely you felt like you had to let this person go, even though, you know, you, you there's a part of you that doesn't want to give up on this. And I feel like emotionally you kind of surrendered here. Yeah, that's the feminine energy. That's about you raising your vibration here. This is yin energy. Some of you are dealing with a twin flame. This is someone I feel too who made you feel a bit um, insecure as well. But there's a very strong magnetic energy between the two of you. Yeah, this is someone, look at that. This is someone who wanted to be in control. That, you know, that is that emperor energy. The emperor likes to be in control. And this is someone I definitely get that you had um, trust issues with. Yep, there's the masculine. So now we got the divine feminine and we have the divine masculine energy. And we got truth. The divine masculine here. Take it how it resonates, takes the roles, but they're seeing the truth here about this connection. They're hoping that you're going to be open to them coming back around is the energy I pick up there. Yeah, they're making decisions about how the two of you can move forward. You know, um, because I feel like in the past, this is someone who had to make some decisions, somebody who was feeling very confused. Some of you, this could even be somebody who has addictions um, or they escape by, you know, doing something toxic. Now, we also have here a timing card of autumn. Now, some of you may have had a breakup or things occur with this person that was significant during the fall season. Um, but this can also talk about starting over and starting over with new intentions. And that's the energy that I'm feeling with your person because they want a union here with you. And it's all happening. Look at that in divine timing. First card here. So I feel there is something about you and this person coming together in union after some time. There's a reason why that is happening. Okay. And I'm going to say for some of you, Cancer, what I'm really picking up is that because your first card here is the angel of balance, I feel that some of you had to learn patience um, in relationships, not to rush relationships. I also feel like there, there could have also been some karmic lessons um, or past lessons that this person uh, needed to learn. They needed to learn from their, their past because there was something greater here about you and this person going through what you went through okay and i feel like that's the contract okay you had a contract with this person because i feel like your your guides your angels your ancestors wanted this to be a balanced connection and i feel like when whatever happened between the two of you it was not balanced in the past Yep, here's another card here of fate and destiny. So Cancer, um, I feel like you're coming into alignment here with someone. A, a lot of you, I feel this could definitely be a twin flame energy. But I do feel um, there's something here around timing. And I feel like your person is somebody they want to do things in their own timing. They try to control things. This could be somebody who even sabotaged this connection. Yeah. Soulmate energy. Some of you it's a soulmate. Some of you it's a twin flame. Stay optimistic about your, lo your love life. And you also have here, this could be the one. So Cancer, I feel like they're telling you, Keep positive, okay? 
just in general in your love life, stay optimistic. And I would say, you know, still, you know, stay optimistic about meeting the person, right? Your soulmate, who you feel you are meant to be with. Okay, even though this person is coming around doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, it's the person that you are meant to be with because some of you, I feel like this could be a karmic. Some of you, it's a twin flame. And some of you, I feel, you know, whether it's a soulmate or twin flame, that this is the person, right, that you are destined to be with. But your intuition is always going to guide you in the right direction. And you need to trust your intuition because you have heavy angel ancestor present presence right now and they're going to guide you to the person that you are meant to be with so, some of you it may be that you and this person are coming together because there's something the two of you need to work out together okay and I'm gonna say not everybody okay but it could be that the relationship here maybe it's meant just to be a friendship okay or the two of you come together and and realize that you know what we're very attracted to each other but maybe it doesn't work but others i feel like yeah it could be somebody that you know truly could be your soulmate the person you were meant to be with okay it but it's all going to come down to your intuition here so cancer um i hope this reading helped you i hope you have a wonderful rest of day or evening and I'm sending you angel love.